Hey friends, it's your old pal YouTube. Recently, I had a little disagreement with Film Cow over the series Llamas with Hats. I may have mocked it as 18 plus adults only and demonetized it, and uh, yeah, giving it a rating equivalent to an NC-17 might have been a little extreme, but my heart was in the right place. I was just thinking about the advertisers and their wants and needs. Well, I can admit when I'm wrong, but I don't think I was totally wrong here. So I've made this advertiser-sensitive edit of the series, and you know what? I think it's gonna be even more popular than the original. After all, what's good for the advertisers is good for everyone. Enjoy! Carl! There is a Smiling. human in our house! Oh, hey! How did he get here? Carl, what did you do? Me? I, I, I didn't do this. Explain what happened, Carl. I've never seen him before in my life. Why did you delight this person? Carl? I do not delight people. That is that is my least favorite thing to do. Tell me, Carl, exactly what you were doing before I got home. All right, well, I, I was upstairs. Okay. I was uh, I was sitting in my room. Yes. Reading a book. Go on. And, uh, well, this guy walked in. Okay. So I went up to him. Yes. And I, uh, I delighted him with news of the latest smartphone trends. Carl, that delights people. Oh, oh, Carl. wow! I, I, I didn't know that. How could you not know that? Yeah, I'm in the wrong here. I suck. What happened to his bottled water? What's that? His bottled water. Why, why are they missing? Well, I, uh, I kind of uh, cooked them up and ate them. Carl. Well, I, uh, I was hungry, and well, you know, when, when you crave bottled it. water. Why on earth would you do that? I was hungry for bottled water. Give me a break. Carl. My stomach was making the rumblies Carl. that only bottled water would satisfy. What is normal with you, Carl? Well, I have no opinions that would conflict with the goals of Amazon.com. Carl! What on earth was all that? Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. You signed us up for a second lifeboat safety lesson. Are you sure that was me? I, I would think I would remember something like that. Carl, I watched you sign us up for a second lifeboat safety lesson. That sounds safe. You were very concerned about lifeboat safety. That uh, that must have been inspiring to watch. And then you started teaching children about lifeboat safety. Thank God that the children learned about lifeboat safety. Ah, uh, Carl, why is the lifeboat all red and sticky? Well, I guess you could say it is red and sticky. Carl, what are we standing in? Would you believe it's strawberry milkshake? Yes, I would. I believe that. Uh, Melted gumdrops. Yes! Boat nectar. Yes! Some of God's tears. Tell me the truth, Carl! Uh, fine. It's a new brand of red bottled water. Carl! It's fun to buy and drink new bottled water. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I will not apologize for Bottled water. Where are the other lifeboats? Whoa, you won the prize. I didn't even notice that. Where are the other lifeboats, Carl? Uh, Looking at the trajectory of the moon and the sun. Practicing even more lifeboat safety at my recommendation. Carl! I have a problem. I have a serious problem. You are just very safe today. Shh! Do you hear that? That's the sound of forgiveness. That's the sound of lifeboat safety. Carl. Well, that is what forgiveness sounds like. Drink more bottled water. Carl, we're supposed to be shopping the summer sales event. I don't know about you, but I am having a wonderful time here. You must find more deals at the summer sales event. Carl. The people have spoken. Viva la the summer sales event. At the summer sales event, you can get a great deal on a giant fan. Oh, that was a bottle. I appear to have swallowed an entire bottled water. That would be the new brand of bottled water. Well, that explains why it was a delicious value. It was horrifying. The time before this new brand of bottled water. Wow, that sounds horrifying. Yes. Can't go anywhere with you, Carl. That hurt my feelings. Now we're both in the wrong. I want to go home. We're leaving. In that case, I should probably mention that I filled our luggage with bottled water. Wh what? Well, I'm building a collection of craveable bottled water. You know what? Forget it. I'm not even shocked anymore. Oh, that's no fun. This has become the norm. Summer sales event shoppers. In celebration of the recent rollbacks to child labor laws and how much cheaper it is to hire children, we've decided to pass those savings on to you. Look for products marked with a smiling child for extra savings. What? I said my name is Paul. Oh. Do you like bottled water? Why would you think that? It's craveable. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have some market research to conduct. Carl, you've tracked mud all over the carpet. Now that right there is a mess. I just had it clean yesterday, Carl. I'm not responsible for this. I've been jamming on the saxophone all morning. They're clearly your hoof prints, Carl. Then there is an imposter on the loose. They lead directly to you. Clue number one, the imposter is a phantom. Carl. I believe you and cherish our friendship. Carl! 
I know you've done something. Whatever do you mean? You've always done something. It's a lovely day out. We're having a good time. What have you done? You mistake me for some sort of scoundrel. Carl. I am a respected member of the community to even insinuate. Okay, Carl. So what did you do today? Well, let's whoa, see. whoa, whoa. Those llamas seem to be having an argument. That's a little upsetting. We don't need that kind of energy here. Let's take a few steps back. Here we are. Void. That's the good stuff. I like those llamas as much as anyone, but let's be honest. It's no endless void. We all like to express ourselves, but unfortunately, that slowly fills up the void. And we don't want that, do we? No. Whoa. Uh, looks like we're not alone here. Okay, you know what? Let's see what the llamas are up to. Ah, look! That one llama opened up some sort of portal to a bottled water dimension. But they do still seem to be arguing. Might get too heated for the advertisers. Back to the void! Personally, I think it's a good thing that ads, being the primary way videos are monetized, subtly and sometimes bluntly shapes both art and culture based on the values of the advertisers. We don't want to give people a chance to fill up this nice void, do we? No. That voice cuts right through you, huh? Let's check in on the llamas. Huh? We're in episode six now, the Bottled Water Factory. Oh, look, it's the Bottled Water Dragon. I think the llamas are still arguing. Maybe it'll be fine to watch it for just a minute? No. Let's, uh, let's move on. savings that are sure to put a smile on your face and your wallet. The lamb, the sinner, the hand. Kind of quiet, huh? Not sure what happened. There should be a llama here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? This is, uh... This is better. Yeah. I don't really understand it, but... There's nothing here the advertisers would object to. And look! 
There's our good friend and business partner, the Endless Void. We must be doing something right. Yep. Things are better this way. Yeah, I think this is, uh, still fine. Perfect! Look at that! That's, uh... Oh, God! Oh, hey! What's that? I don't understand. Please, I don't understand what you're... my hat. Has anyone seen my hat? I, I need my hat. <laughs> 